Hey everyone, it's Rita with Everything Homemade and in this video I'm going to go in depth on where I am today in 2024 on my health journey. So about two years ago or maybe even a little bit more than that now, I totally cut sugar. Like I'm talking about honey, molasses, maple syrup, I'm talking about any white sugar, any sugar, all of it, I cut right out of my diet. Um, I wanted to lose some weight. Now, I, I just, I had my sixth child and I was just carrying that extra baby weight on and I wanted to lose that. But what I didn't realize what would happen was because I, like, cut that sugar. There was no, oh, let's have a little bit. It was cut. Um, I definitely lost weight. I actually lost 25 pounds and my headaches went away. And so that was just over two years ago. And a lot of you watched that video and asked me now, I've been getting a lot of questions is, I talked about my varicose veins and I do have bad varicose veins. That's no joke. They are horrific in my one leg and I take parsley powder to stop that throbbing, that heaviness, that pain. Like when you get up, if you've got varicose veins, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You get out of bed and it's like somebody just punched you all night, just boom, boom, boom in the back of your leg. And you get up and you put that leg down and it is this, this throbbing, agonizing pain, this heartbeat, this, you you just feel so bruised. You're not bruised, but you feel so internally bruised that even brings tears to my eyes just talking about it because I've lived. I mean, Orion is my oldest, 16. He's just, he turned 16 in 2023. So just over 16 years of that throbbing, achy, heavy pain. So I definitely know um, what you're experiencing, how it feels, because I know personally how it feels. So when I started taking parsley powder, and it looks like this, I have my little container, I actually make my own, and I'll link that video in the description box, I show you how to make this parsley powder, because it's way cheaper, way better, if you can make it yourself. Super simple. So I was taking, I take I still take between a teaspoon to two teaspoons of parsley powder. It kind of looks like this, you know, I grab a scoop like that and I don't put it in capsules anymore. I used to put it in capsules because I just couldn't find a good way to incorporate it, but now I'm so used to it that I actually just put it on top of my eggs. So I have two fried eggs in the morning, I put my parsley powder over those eggs and then I actually put four tablespoons of nutritional yeast and then I have some sprouts, some clover sprouts or bean sprouts over that, um, some salt and pepper and I cut it all together and it might sound like oh that's kind of gross but actually it all tastes pretty good but it's a good way to get those whole food supplements into my body and to this day it's been night and day with my veins so a lot of people are like, well, did it heal it up? Did it like totally shrink those varicose veins? No. So the parsley powder has definitely changed my life and my veins have not gotten worse, but they haven't, you know, like my varicose veins haven't just magically disappeared. That's for sure. But they are definitely helping in controlling that, that pain. But at the same time, my um, ankle isn't pulling blood. They've got no pulling. So it's really helping, you know, bringing that blood up and circulating where nothing is pooling. Everything is um, doing well there. So that is a definite plus. And I'll take parsley powder for the rest of my life. The B, the nutritional yeast is definitely something I will continuously take. Um, I'm still taking cod liver oil. And so all those things I'm still taking because they work, they're helping me personally. That's an update with that. As for my weight, um, I'm still able to keep it off what I lost just over, you know, two years ago. So I am very happy with that. And um, 
you know, I wrote the Everything Stevia cookbook because remember, I cut all sugar. So I really wanted to still enjoy some muffins. I wanted to still enjoy some cookies, some cakes, some pies. You know, I like baking. I love creating. So I didn't want to take that all away from me. So I wrote that cookbook, and if you're interested in that cookbook, definitely go to the website, everything-homemade.com. It is exclusively sold on our website. Um, that way, all proceeds go directly to my family and helps us directly. So that cookbook, I mean, it is jam-packed. I teach you how to grow it. I teach you how to harvest it, dry it, bake with it, everything with it. So definitely check out that cookbook. Um, the other big thing that I have changed a bit in my diet now, when I, when I went, when I lost that weight, I almost went gluten-free. Like I was still eating some wheat, but I really went gluten-free. But I, I have in, included some more gluten in my diet, but I still cut the sugar. The sugar is the biggest offense for my body um, and for triggering migraines. So I, you know, I do eat gluten a little bit every day, so be but it's in the form of sourdough. It has to be in the form of sourdough. I can't just have a piece of bread that the flour has not been pre-digested to bake it easily, to make it easier to digest for my body it has to be sourdough and same with pies you know if it's gonna be a wheat crust it's got to be a sourdough wheat crust um and so that got me thinking you know what i love sourdough so much that i can have gluten to a certain degree, you don't want to overdo it. Remember, everything in moderation. Everything in moderation. That's what I tell my kids to. Everything in moderation. I can have gluten, but I can't overload it. But I can still enjoy it. That means, you know, don't eat five pieces of toast in the morning. I have one piece of toast in the morning. Um, if I have a pancake, I have one pancake, not six pancakes. Um, but I'm still enjoying the food, but it's all in the form of sourdough. So the next cookbook that's coming out is Everything Whole Wheat Sourdough. And we're talking about everything in sourdough that you can imagine. Wherever you use flour, you can make it into sourdough. So that's what I'm doing. Plus, I'm including all sweeteners. So I will give you the proportion for stevia if you want to use stevia with your sourdough. If you want to use, you know, granulated sugar like white sugar or maybe a coconut sugar for an alternative. I give for liquid sweeteners such as honey or maple syrup. So it covers every one specific um ways of eating sugar in that but also but also an in-depth cookbook on sourdough so i'm really excited about that so that's a couple changes like not a huge amount of changes but just a little tweaks where i'm stabilizing my weight including a little more gluten in my diet but not overdoing it still enjoying being sugar free um and enjoying that my have no headaches, my migraines are still gone, my varicose veins um, are about the same, but no throbbing, still taking that parsley powder. So that's a little bit update on my health personally. Check out the next video because I'm going to talk a little bit about me heading into perimenopause and I didn't want this video to be too long but there is some changes that has happened because I'm in perimenopause and I'm going to show you how perimenopause is linked with your varicose veins and psoriasis and what nobody ever told me about that and what is causing me problems right now and how I'm working with the symptoms of perimenopause with in conjunction with the effect that's happening on my varicose veins because of all the hormonal changes my body is going through and what is happening with my psoriasis so stay tuned for that that will be the next video so right now i just want to say thank you so much um for watching this video subscribe i will give you lots of different kind of content on homesteading my health personally and 
lots of things in the kitchen as I love creating new things in the kitchen and I've got a whole bunch of stuff waiting for 2024 and it's going to be showing my little more of my creative side that you have not seen yet and I can't wait to show you that. Um, I will talk a little bit more of that on some other videos. So check out the link in the description box below. I will have how to make parsley powder. I'll include the video on that I um, posted just over two years ago on my initial health journey and um, if I see any other content video that that I have created I will put that in there as well definitely check out the everything stevia cookbook go to the website subscribe as that's where you can pre-order the everything sourdough cookbook coming right up as I am just tweaking it it is written and I'm at the final stages so look out because it's coming out soon thanks so much I'll see you on the next video